What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. Not the United States, the Italian States. So to round off where we left off last time, we successfully reunited the Italian Peninsula by taking Venice and we have also assaulted Cal um, Cagliari in Sardinia, although I would like to grow this army somewhat to allow me to then successfully hit uh, the Genoese capital because they are going to get quite a good garrison there and we have been lucky so far in that the French have not attacked us so let's do our ceremonial request peace trade deal with France maybe it's because they're friendly they're not actually attacking us but let's try to get some more trade agreements no I'm not going to do trading with texts with you Sweden See, I don't, I don't, I really don't get why Maratha won't trade with us if they're friendly and they've got a trade slot. Come on, let's try trade with New Spain. They want Naples. Nope. Okay, now we also need to try and get peace with Spain. Our research and tech will be done next turn. So let's hit end turn. Let's get some more cash, and then maybe I might try butter them up with something. But I am generally quite happy with how things have gone. What I think I might do with Cagliari is actually turn them off, um, prevent them from paying taxes until their port develops so I can build it up into a shipyard. That might be a good idea. I mean, I can't really hope to challenge the French and the Spanish navies at this stage, but it can help me prevent my ports from being blockaded from lower tier powers such as the Barbary States. So I am going to be attacking... Well, I think probably the best bet might be to actually attack... Maybe even attack France. Just go straight for them. If they will not make peace, that might be the best option. Send my main army to go attack. France, or to conduct offensive operations against France. To, at the very least, remove that threat from my borders. I would like two armies, but it's unlikely that I'm going to get... It's unlikely that both my armies are going to be able to go up, get up there, because I'm going to keep, need to keep one of them home, or back, for, for home defence. So we've got a military syllabus, so let's build the drill school in Rome. So while it takes three turns to build the drill school, you guys can research. To be honest, you may as well carry on going down the military route. If you get grenades, that can, we can get ordnance factory, we can get 12 pounders. And it's three turns, so that's pretty handy. So let's pick up two units of these guys. Actually, let's pick up one unit of line and then let's pick up some conscripts to bolster the ranks of this army. So how many turns would it take for Cagliari to develop? Alghero. 42 turns if I don't tax them at all. They provide six, 600 gold, which is... Hmm. It's not super important, but at this stage I'd still rather have as much whatever money I could actually get. Come on, Britain, just clear off. Or I might actually go for Spain. Go for Madrid instead might be a good idea. Because once we take... Well, if we once we take Madrid, we'll have a new front against France. Whereas if we take France, we'll actually be quite exposed in lots of areas against Britain and France. So that might be a good idea. Especially as my army is pretty... Damn, it's pretty big. 
Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Oh no, I don't need to research. Grenades. I can already build the Ordnance Factory and I don't really care for the Great Arsenal yet. In which case then you might go for common land enclosures. What do I need to increase? Yeah, it's, it's common land enclosures for the vineyards. So let's do that instead. Let's hit enter. I'll make sure I cross this episode on my recording log. I do not like where that French Navy is going. If they try and land on our shores, we will destroy them. But yeah, maybe taking out Spain might be the best option. I know it's not it's not not really my plan. I wanted to go I wanted to um, hit Malta and North Africa, but if Spain will not let me if they will continue to attack me, then I will remove one of those threats. Because my main, what I'd like to do is attack the the Ottoman Empire and spread east as the Bruti I would in Rome 1. But I don't really want to declare war on another major power. Hmm. Well, if I think of it as the Rome 1 campaign, and attacking the Iberian Peninsula and attacking up towards the Gauls would be a thematically relevant action. Nope, oh, there goes a whole bunch of my economy. Yeah, maybe I should uh, stop paying taxes. Regardless of the cost. I know 42 turns is a long time, but I'd like to think that things would stack. Well, no, 42 turns is still way too long. Yeah. So we've got the Royal Palace in Rome. I could probably stand to destroy Nice and try and rebuild that. If I, can I leave I'm Venice? Ready. I can leave Venice. Signore. So let's bring Enrico over to the west. And I might actually do I send him on just to run straight towards Madrid. It might be safer by land than by sea, because I've got some I've got some naval problems here. So I could build a Grand Admiralty in Venice. I could build roads in Milan. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, this whole bunch of trade access we've lost. Or just march up and try to take Paris. That's an option. I think we may end up marching up and taking Paris. Breaking the French power. Yay! Go, go, Britain! Hurrah! Uh, pff, do we intercept? No. What a stroke of good fortune. We actually moved our army to the to the west. And I think we've got military access agreements with Austria. If We're not allies, but I think we do have access. But I might build some infantry in... Venice, just to act as a bit of a garrison. Because right now we're pretty... We're pretty vulnerable. We deploy to the west. We're friendly with Austria. So they're not going to attack us outright. But I'd still like to beef up the garrison somewhat. In a way, it's a pity they didn't build roads, because then we would have we could have defended that until the cows came home. Mm. 
Yep, Barbary states are expanding some of their blockades. Well, no. They've eased up a bit. So they've attacked the Provence vineyards. So we do have the ability now to do this. And granted, this army is a bit pleaded in some areas. Um, no, maintain siege for now. Like I said, I still want to play it a bit safe. Let's upgrade some of these farms and vineyards. Average yield, high yield. Low yield, average yield. First thing I want to do, we're quite lucky they didn't attack Turin, but I suppose that means they must be a bit weak. Oh no, don't get out and then attack them. Let's attack this French amphibious force. Which might be as actually in not too many turns we're going to get fire by rank. Which means we would absolutely tear through. Is that a fire alarm? It's a fire alarm, but it's not our fire alarm. Um, so if we go fire by rank, it means we'll absolutely be able to tear. And they wouldn't really have a chance to stop us. Our guns are good up on this hill. Let's form one of our not smart lines. Let's put our dragoons on the flank behind this hill. Pikes behind the cannons, general behind the line. Up. We do you have reinforcements? I presume this is the. Oh, this is a garrison from one of the ports. I see. Let's run my line. Lancers are going to try pick off my my horsemen. Unlimber my artillery. Let's try to lure their cavalry back to my battle line. Cavalry's charging. You guys both form squares. Yep, they're chasing after my cavalry, but I don't care. Unless they stop. Because I've got pikemen. So I don't really care if they chase after me, because they'll be running to their doom. Shot the hell out of their artillery. And my cavalry can engage now. get some artillery support on the flanks now rather than letting them fire at will. Oh 
last one is shattered. Let's move my Dragoons around in a position to attack their retreating forces. Same with my Regiment of Horse. Let's move my Pikes up for completeness. Realistically, this army is folded completely. Don't even need all my men to prosecute the retreating army. Okay, good. Let's get my troops involved. Let's get my jumper's bodyguard involved. And my regiment of force. All my artillery folks on the bodyguard. My cavalry just continue killing them. If the general's bodyguard wants to get involved, they are more than welcome. Go on, let's attack the general's bodyguard if that's what he wants. Don't forget your primary aim, cavalry. Let your let their general take a bunch of artillery shots if that's what they want. If they want to continue the fight. Up a bit. Go after the line infantry regiments first. Absolutely, we're going to continue. Sweet. So these guys are frustrating because a big block of them right there and they might you'd like to think my cavalry would absolutely tear through them but they aren't keep re-attacking them in different directions. Come on, you've got 26 dudes here. Halt fire. These guys are going to rout because they've successfully managed to spread out. But I've got more cavalry on them in the, in the pursuit. No, they're going to rout. Damn. Damn, damn and blast. But it was a decisive victory. You've pushed them um, back into French, French territory. They've lost... Yeah, they've only got 500 men remaining. We'll continue to the port then and destroy them. And primarily spend our money on a replenishment. Replenishment of whoever we can. Sweet. So we've got common land enclosures. Whatever is research is only going to last for a turn before we go for fire by rank. So start picking away at division of labour. Factory master. Oh, my guy's not so good at military tech now. Blast. Let's hit enter. The British are coming with another army. The 
So where are they going to end up? Two armies. This could be fun. And the French are coming. Okay, I think I might end up having to make a strategic alliance with someone. Either the French against the British or the British against the French. And I'm going to have to give away territory, which I don't want to do, but, you know, if it keeps them happy while I can expand. Right now, the British are the more annoying threat. Because I can, with Britain, I can, with, with France rather, I can actually attack their homeland. So there's a potential end to that problem there. I think I might have to try to give away Naples for um, peace and trade with Britain. Hopefully an alliance if I can get one. Because fighting against France I can, I can handle. Or at the very least, it means I have to attack Genoa to free up that other army. So I've got two forces, which I might need to rebalance. Rather than having one full stack and one half stack, I have two three-quarter stacks. But even then, I've... The frustrating thing is that they're, they're firefighting. Oh good, they're actually selling out to attack me, which, which is super convenient. Um, I don't really want to... I want to actually be able to push out and get on the offensive. So I think maybe buying off Britain is a good idea. French is my other plan. So they've got scary howitzers. Or mortars, sorry. So let's just deploy back. With fire by rank, having conscripts isn't too much of a problem. Because they've still got the problems where it's only the front rank of muskets firing. Damn, they're firing. Land hath failed. Okay, this my artillery punish their general's bodyguard. So I want them to leave a gap open for my cavalry to do work. They want to go for this unit, and they will also form a square. Get these guys out of square. some infantry on the flank. 
these mortar crews have, for whatever reason, pushed up to charge us. Okay, let's... Cavalry go off their mortars. You guys can fire onto the flank of the armed citizenry. These guys are pouring fire into the pipe, hopefully. Let's get the general involved. This area is going to be a bit of a cluster. General round start prosecuting these routing units so they don't come back. So I can just start to curl my line up. They haven't lost many men. They're shooting their own pike in the rear. Yep, so there comes the um, citizenry back. Let's run my general away. Let's go after those guys in the centre. All I want to do is... All I want to do is make sure they route. Okay, kill the general. See, they know my game, so they're chasing down my general. You guys should be in formation, but you're actually getting picked at by the pikes, so charge into their rear. Conscript unit is routing, but not quite sure why. General. Come on, man, get involved. All of you guys focus fire on them. Damn, these guys aren't actually firing. have gone so now we can form these two units back into a firing position let's try to kill their general with my cavalry Open fire into the flank of this line infantry unit. Imagine the force is doing okay against the general. These battles on the left have lots of support. So they're firing into the combat now. I don't want my cavalry to route. 
So let's get them over here to try and break this armed citizenry unit. To help free up more muskets for this fight. Okay, so you guys can take up positions behind the wall. You guys push it up. Artillery to keep blinking at the general's bodyguard. We can knock out their armed citizenry. Good. This flank is beginning to fold. My cavalry have a have a go at them. There we go. It's time to bring more guns to bear. Mission conscripts, line infantry. Let's bring the general back to take out some of them. General's gone, so let's get one unit of artillery to hit the third regiment, the other unit to hit the fourth. Good stuff. Everyone's going to be firing at the third up here. No, oh, we've still got the third regiment coming back. I don't know why my general's running around in column formation all the time. I mean, look how stupid that is. All batteries fire onto the third. The man who said, no, you know what, that is a hit that guy on. Yeah, they're broken. Redirect my artillery to hit this unit of conscripts to the rear. And then, to be honest, it's probably speed up time a bit. I was going to say, I doubt they would stick around. Let's halt the artillery. Cavalry on to like look. I don't know why they're doing this. It's actually quite annoying. It starts to impact my ability to kill troops. Like look, the, the first handful get first handful get into combat, and the others start clumping together at the back. Still. Close victory, wasn't close. It was maybe. But I think it was still a good win. Um, yeah, so I still think the best option is to buy out the British, push against the French, and when we build up our. attack the British again. There is a clamour for reform in this region due to the spreading of enlightened sure ideas through research and is. Okay, so this army, this navy's here. All my navy's currently blockaded in ports, so I can't actually save them. Well, not so, so I can't save them, I can't bring this guy back to... back to Italy. Diplomacy, major nations. Peace and Alliance, and I'll give you... No, wait, before I do that... Everything I'm building in this territory needs to stop. Diplomacy, Great Britain, 
Peace Alliance Region Naples Trade. Hmm, they really don't want to give us that. So Britain's there. What army have you got? That's a ragtag army. This is John Churchill. Assedio in corso. Let's replenish them and let's start building troops. Oh, good. We can get expat infantry, grenadiers, hussars. Don't really have the economy to support it, but well, if you're going to force our hand, and let's get start start work immediately on fire by rank. So we can't really afford lots of expensive infantry. So let's just bring out the regulars. Even if we end up scrapping over Italy for a few turns, we'll get fire by rank, and then I can just immediately fire my armies over to take Paris. Because I don't want to make peace with France, because I can, I can kill France. Once I've got France, Britain's in my sights. I mean, come on. I'm at war with your colonial power, but we can still make peace. Probably make peace with Genoa, but to be honest, at this point, I don't want to. Just want to get them out of the game. I could try and make peace with the Barbary states again, but I think they'll just ask for Naples. No. No. Don't worry, we're coming after you. Um, but, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.